What's up, folks? It's Rob from LearnBridge.nyc, and what you're looking at is a grainy picture of a convention card at the moment, but we'll make this look a lot clearer once we get started. But I wanted to walk all of you through the, the filling out of the convention card. It's an important thing to do, especially if you're playing with someone for the first time, and always when you have an established partnership. Even if you're playing the same things every time, it would certainly help to jog your memory with some things you might be a little bit shaky on if before the game you just fill this convention card out and make sure you guys have your agreements established. Okay, so we're going to give you just a, a general 2 over 1 game forcing card. And I'm going to use this video to show you not only the basic agreements to have, but also almost everything I'm, I'm going to show you is uh, available in lesson format on the LearnBridge.nyc website. So immediately below this video is a, a copy of a convention card. If you click on that, you can go through the card itself, and if you see anything that you don't know yet or you want a little refresher on, you just click the button right next to it, and we'll open up into a, a little bit of a lesson, some notes, and usually a link to some videos. So uh, if you want to learn a little bit more, you can go through that card, and here I'm just going to show you essentially what we've discussed so far on the card, and we'll be adding to this as we go forward throughout the year. So I hope you enjoy the video, and we're going to start with just our general approach to the game, which is all the way up in the upper right-hand corner. And that general approach is going to be 2 over 1 game forcing. Okay, that's the system we're going to agree to play. If you're not playing two over one game forcing, you would just put down standard American. Right? This just means that you play standard agreements in all these situations and no two over one game forcing. But we're playing two over one, and that's what we're going to put right there. And below that we see a little two over one and it says game forcing or game forcing except when suit rebid. We are playing at game forcing in all situations, folks. Uh, very light. This is if you have the tendency to open super light in these specific situations. And the only thing I would suggest checking is third hand. But if you want to be conservative, you don't have to check any of these. And you can have just an agreement to have all of these bids be sound in nature. Uh, but most people do open light in third hand, so you can check that one. Forcing opening just is our strongest bid, essentially. And the only strong bid we're going to have is two clubs. This is our forcing opening, meaning when we open two clubs, partner cannot pass, and our hand is really strong, 22 plus in this situation. So when we check that off, that's notifying us and our opponents that that's the only forcing bid we make. Now let's take a look at our no trump sequences. Our opening bids of no trump should be 15 to 17. 15 to 17 balanced, obviously. That's what we're showing when we open one no trump. We play stamen. Two clubs should be stamen for all of us. And we're also going to check off the box that says five card major common. I stress the importance in all my classes of opening when you're balanced, even with a five card major. The only times I would not be opening if I were balanced with a five card major is if I had a really good 17 right now I would open my major and and more likely rebid two no trump because that's how strong that situation is but any of these other 15 and 16 point balanced hands even with a five card major it's almost always right to just open one no trump the next one here is system on over and this just means that when our partner opens one no trump occasionally our right hand opponent is going to make a call and the only two bids that we're going to play our systems on over are double and two clubs. When the opponent to our right makes either of those bids, we treat them in such a way that we can gain all of the systems we usually have over one no trump. That means we can still bid stamen, and when it goes one no trump double, we just ignore the double. Two clubs is stamen, two diamonds is a transfer to hearts, and two hearts is a transfer to spades. When they bid two clubs, there's just a little bit of an extra step. So when partner opens one no trump and our right-hand opponent bids two clubs, double is stamen. And now two diamonds is still a transfer to hearts, and two hearts is still a transfer to spades. And if you play any sort of minor suit transfers, those are also on in both of these situations. However, any other bid the opponent makes, two diamonds, two hearts, three clubs, whatever they bid, we do not have the ability to have all of our systems available after that. So, 
just double and two clubs allows us to continue what we're going to do normally when our partner opens one no trump. Below this, we have the two diamonds as a transfer to hearts. We should be playing that. Two hearts as a transfer to spades. And we can play two spades a number of different ways. And there is a link to a lesson that will give you at least a few options. One of this kind of the expert option, but it gives you all of the capabilities that you would need when you want to transfer into a minor suit. So, so you would note whatever you're playing here. And I'm going to note that two spades is either a size ask, which means it's invitational, or it's clubs. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, you can click on the convention card below this on the website, and it'll direct you right to that minor suit lesson. And two no trump here will be diamonds. So that's where we note our minor suit transfers. Now we come over to the three level bids in response to one no trump. And this just means partner opens one no trump and we bid three clubs. What does it mean? The easiest agreement to have here, and the one that will get you to a lot of minor suit slams when you may have difficulty doing it with other agreements is just a natural strong hand for this suit. So three clubs here can say I have slam interest in clubs, right? And it just says I have the ability or the desire to possibly play slam in this suit. And the cool part about this is after this bid, you can have the agreement that anything other than three no trump is a control bid for clubs, right? So partner can just start cooperating and we can have a lot of information exchange before we even get to a level where we're deciding about slam and which one to play in. And we do the same thing in diamonds. Three diamonds just shows a hand that has the potential to play slam in that suit. Obviously, these are going to be at least six card suits. Sometimes they could be even longer, right? With a lot of distribution, we may just need to know a couple of controls to know whether or not we're going to be able to play six of this minor suit. And three hearts and three spades, some people will play these as like five, five in the majors, invitational or strong. Another really good way to play these is, is a, an excellent descriptive bid. It's called the splinter bid over an O trump. And when we bid three hearts, we're showing this specific shape. We're showing three cards in the spade suit. If we had four, we would more likely be bidding stamen. One card in the heart suit, splinter meaning we have a shortness in the suit that we're bidding, and some sort of combination in the minor suits that's 5-4. And so we have a hand that could play spades, especially if this is one of those circumstances that partner bid one no trump with a five card spade suit. Sometimes we might be able to find some really interesting spots with these bids. And three spades is the exact opposite. It shows shortness in spades, three cards in the heart suit, and either five, four, or four, five in the minors. So these aren't going to come up frequently. And in fact, most of the things we agree to play in these situations are rarely going to come up. So the agreements that you make here are going to be very limited as far as their their usefulness for you but when they do come up they are really the foremost descriptive bids that you can make in these spots at a, at a really basic level so uh, especially the minor suit ones when you jump to three of a minor and you have that immediate agreement that any bid is a control bid for support of that suit now you're going to find a lot of spots where you get to play these minor suit slams that the better pairs are getting into right below that is the Texas transfer. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with this, the Texas transfer is essentially the exact same scenario as the Jacoby transfer. Four diamonds says, I want you to bid four hearts. I'm transferring you to hearts at the game level. And four hearts is a transfer to four spades. The only difference is in this spot, we are showing a six card suit because we're guaranteeing that we have a fit and we're showing enough to play game. So that's 10 plus points. So in this situation, these are the ways that we show a game-going hand with a guaranteed fit. I'm going to skip over these next few because we haven't had any of these lessons yet. Some of you do know Smolin, and that's great if you're going to play it. And for those of you that do not know it yet, I hope you'll be patient and we'll get that lesson up there for this bid. And it's the last piece of the puzzle to making sure that the opening bidder, the no trump opener, gets to play the contract in most situations. So it's a very useful convention and we will get to it. And we'll jump over to two no trump. Our opening two no trump bids are 20 to 21. Again, balanced hands. And over this, we still play Jacoby transfers and we still play Texas. Now the three no trump opening bid is either 25 to 27 something around that but we do have the two club opening bid to show this and most people these days are playing what's called gambling three no trump and gambling just shows 
a solid seven card minor suit and nothing else outside. So you're only going to open three no trump when you have seven solid in a minor. Ace, king, queen, jack, seventh. Ace, king, queen, eighth. Something like that. Just tricks in that suit. And now a partner, when it gets back to them, will look at every suit but that minor and see if they have a trick in the three other suits. And the cool thing about it is when partners looking at their hand, they know they should not have an honor in their minor. So as long as they have honors in three suits, they can pass three no trump. And a lot of people are agreeing to play that. You can play anything you want there. Gambling is relatively simple. It just shows a solid seven card minor. And now the partner of that person can decide whether they can play three no trump or whether they're just going to bid four of partner's minor suit. So that's the no trump portion of our convention card. The next one's going to go down to our major suit openings, and you can tune into the next video to see our agreements in this area. Thanks a lot, guys. And don't forget to check out the convention card on the website. It's going to show you every lesson we have for each of these topics. We linked right next to the box that you're checking off on the convention card.